All right, guys, today is an awesome day because I went shopping and I found four new kinds of Halloween cereal. Today we're gonna look at each one of these, the front and the back of the box, and then we're gonna try all four of them. When I was a kid growing up and you sat down for breakfast, you got the box of cereal, you poured it in the bowl, you poured your milk, and as you ate the cereal, you turned the box around and you looked at all the awesomeness. Let's move these out of the way so I can start to show you what's on the back of these. First, we have the Halloween Fruity Pebbles. Fruity Pebbles and Cocoa Pebbles are some of the most delicious cereal ever. And for them to make them Halloween Fruity Pebbles is just mind blowing. <laughs> I can already tell you these are gonna be delicious. And you know what's even better is when they put the marshmallows in there. Unfortunately, there's no marshmallows in here, but that would just top it off perfectly. If they had like little marshmallow bats and ghosts, that would be totally awesome. All right, so Halloween Fruity Pebbles, limited edition. I've only seen these in two stores. One of them was Meyer, and the other was Target. I was surprised I didn't even see them in Walmart. I believe these were about 450 for this box, which is a little steep for cereal, but Halloween Fruity Pebbles, dang. <laughs> All right, so this is awesome. Let me show you the side here. There's the Halloween Fruity Pebbles. The other side, of course, has all the nutrition. The top and the bottom is just simply the little Fruity Pebbles thing, the barcode and that. But on the back is what's really awesome. On the back, we have a recipe for crispy marshmallow monsters. Now, if you watch my Saturday Night Snack in a movie, which I know I haven't done it in quite a while, we just bought this house, we're getting settled in, and as soon as we're settled in, we are gonna start Saturday Night Snack in a movie back up. But if you watch my Saturday Night Snack in a movie, you'll know that we have made Rice Krispie Monsters a couple of times. They are so delicious. You can go back and watch those videos and see how to make them yourself. Or you can just get a box of Halloween Fruity Pebbles and get the recipe on the back. It's really easy. It says you use six tablespoons of butter, a 16 ounce bag of mini marshmallows, and seven cups of Halloween Fruity Pebbles cereal. Now these are a little bit different than what we made. We just used regular Rice Krispies, I think. But dang, I'm gonna have to make these because these sound absolutely delicious. And look at this. It also has a word scramble on the bottom here. And it tells you how to make this box of cereal into a cereal box mummy. How cool is that? <laughs> Now, I might do that with a different cereal box because this one right here, I'm more than likely gonna save and put it in my office downstairs along with the rest of them. But what a cool idea. Use an old empty cereal box, some white fabric. It says even toilet paper will work. And basically you get some of those googly eyes and you make the box into a cereal box mummy. Way cool. We're gonna try these in just a minute, but let's move on to the next one. Cap'n Crunch's Halloween Crunch. Look at that. Who doesn't love Cap'n Crunch? I specifically love Peanut Butter Crunch the best. It's kind of hard to eat all the Cap'n Crunch cereals because like it kind of tears off my gums, but it's so delicious you don't even care. I'm always willing to walk around with a bloody mouth just to eat Cap'n Crunch, especially Halloween Cap'n Crunch. <laughs> look at this. There's ghosts in there. They look like they're pink and it says they turn green in the milk. Is that right? No, the ghosts turn the milk green. So when you have milk in your bowl and you pour this cereal in there, the ghosts turn the milk green. How cool is that? So let's look at the side of the box here. Of course, we have the nutrition facts. Then on this side, we have just like an ad for their social media and then a couple other kinds of their cereal. Oops, all berries, which is delicious and peanut butter crunch, which is also delicious. The top and the bottom is exactly what you would expect. The barcode, the logo, and in the back is a whole ball of awesomeness. Look at this. That's what I'm talking about. Sitting here eating your cereal and looking at every detail of the awesomeness on the back of the cereal box. It says somewhere deep inside the SS Guppy, the Mad Cabin has been busy blending up a mysterious mix of madness 
Lucky for us, he's crazy about Halloween Crunch. It's like a lab where they are mixing up Halloween Crunch. Look at that, that is so crazy. <laughs> There's so many little details in here. You can just sit here and look at this all morning. Speaking of ghosts, how many can you find? So apparently they have like a bunch of ghosts in the picture. You can sit there and look for them. Can you find the two matching beakers? The beakers are the little glass things that he's using to mix up the formula. And then up here it says, oops, Crunch Beast opened the ghost portal. Help him find which switch closes it. I assume that's referring to this up here where it's just a bunch of jumbled madness and you have to trace each one of those to figure out which is the correct one. The back of a cereal box is totally awesome. If you're not eating breakfast and looking at the back of a cereal box, you're doing it wrong. All right, that is Cap'n Crunch's Halloween Crunch. Let's move on to the next one. And that would be Reese Puffs Bats. Reese Puffs are delicious and shaped like bats is totally awesome. I love the Halloween design on this box. It's a spooky house, there's a ghost, there's a pumpkin, there's even, it looks like Dracula holding a bowl of the cereal. <laughs> I love Reese Puffs, man. Okay, oh, and it comes with a save $1 on Reese Puffs cereal, a coupon. Ooh, and that's on the back there too. So you can cut that out and you can go get some more of these. Now, okay, let me back up a second. I think the Halloween Crunch, actually I got this at Giant Eagle. And I think I paid about four bucks for that one. And the Reese Puffs Bats, I also got a Giant Eagle, and I believe it was about the same, $3.59 or four something. The price of cereal is a little high, but these are totally awesome. So let's look at the side here, which they just kind of continue with the picture. There's a dude there, a Frankenstein dude, munching on cereal out of a skull bowl. That's hilarious. And then on this side is just the nutrition. And then of course we have the typical top and the bottom with the barcode. And then the back. The back is the most fun part. The back is a haunted house. It says the haunt is on. Try not to go totally batty as you search the Reese Puffs Haunted Mansion for hidden bats, pumpkins, ghosts, and one devilishly hard to find spooky skull. So that's what I'm talking about, man. They give you fun stuff to do while you're eating your breakfast. You look at the haunted house, you look for the skull, the bats, the pumpkins, I don't even remember what all is in there, ghosts. It, just so much stuff in that picture there, and it makes it so much fun. And I love how the box is strictly black, orange, and yellow. That, that is perfect Halloween colors right there. Just looking at this box makes me want to go carve a pumpkin. All right, so guys, that is the Reese Puffs Bats. Let's move on to the last one that we have here, and that is the Hocus Pocus 2 cereal. This says it's a limited edition berry brew. So I don't know how this is gonna taste. We're gonna find out in a minute, but we have the Sanderson sisters on the front of the box there. On the side of the box, we also have the Sanderson sisters. Let's see, the other side has the nutrition. And then of course you have the typical top and the bottom with the barcode. And the only problem with this one is the back is the same as the front. So when you're sitting here eating your Hocus Pocus 2 cereal, you basically just get to look at the same picture that's on the front, only it's on the back. So it kind of surprises me they didn't put some kind of little games or pictures or you know, word games or something like that on there. It's still pretty cool. And I'll tell you what, the cereal itself looks pretty dang good. So we're gonna find out in just a minute here. This one, I believe, was $4.59 at Target. I know that I got uh, this one at Target and the Halloween Fruity Pebbles, and the other two I got at Giant Eagle. All right, let's get down to giving a taste test to each one of the awesome Halloween cereals. Let's start with Halloween Crunch because I cannot wait to tear up my gums. <laughs> I can't wait to see what this looks like too. Oh, it smells so good. There's, go There's supposed to be ghosts in there, but I don't see any just looking right inside. So let's pour some out. Are there ghosts in there? Yeah, okay, here they are. They don't really look like ghosts. But they are ghosts. They are pink, yet somehow, when you put the milk in, it turns the milk green. So let's put in our milk. Mm. 
we're gonna let that sit there for a minute and see if it turns that milk green. And it is not turning the milk green. At least it doesn't look to me like it is. But regardless, let's have a taste of it because it's gonna be delicious. Mmm, mm mmm, 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 mmm. It is so delicious, guys. Halloween crunch. Mmm. Mm mmm. I can't find the matching beakers. I found seven ghosts. And I have no idea where those squiggly lines go. I'd have to use my finger on those and trace each one. Found it. Mm-hmm. Cabin crunches. Halloween crunch. Thumbs up. Go get it. Next in line, Reese Puffs Bats. These are gonna be delicious. And just to give an update, the milk is not green. It's not even pink. But soon, it will be chocolatey peanut buttery. Yeah, look at that. It is shaped like bats. <laughs> <laughs> These things smell so good. Chocolate and peanut butter all the way. All right, let's get them. Just a little bit, because we got four boxes of cereal here to eat. Oh, it's gonna be so good. Mmm, so delicious. All right, let's give them a taste. Mmm, mmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm, 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 mm. They're so good, I can't stand it. Mm. Mm. I found bats, found pumpkins. I found ghosties. Where is that spooky skull? I can't find the spooky skull. All right, they got me on that one. Mm. Next up. Halloween Fruity Pebbles. I already know that Fruity Pebbles are delicious, but we're gonna have some anyway, just so I can prove it to you. Oh yeah. Oh, my, my gums do hurt. Both of these, Halloween Crunch and the Reese Puffs uh, Bats, tore up my gums back here already. But it's so delicious. Now this might change the color of the milk. All right, let's have a bite. Mm. Oh, gotta love Fruity Pebbles. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I am definitely making the crispy marshmallow monsters. And I'm not even gonna tell you what the words are in the word scramble so you can do it for yourself. If you guys want me to make the cereal box mummy in a video, let me know and I will do it and we'll have fun making it together. Mm. So good. All right, next and last, Hocus Pocus 2 cereal. Berry Brew Limited Edition. Let's give it a try. I kind of expect it to taste just like the Fruity Pebbles in a way. Oh, smells so good. <laughs> you gotta love cereal. It all smells so good when you first open that bag. Oh. This is a hard one too, so this is gonna tear up my gums even more than the other ones already have. That, I think that's why I like Fruity Pebbles so much, because they don't tear up your gums. Mm-hmm, look at that. It's all stars. All right. Mm-hmm. Mm. It's delicious. It's not as good as the other three, if I'm being honest, but it is delicious. Mm. I just wish there was more to look at on the box. Mm. That was one Halloweeny heck of a breakfast. <laughs> 
Hocus Pocus 2, Halloween Fruity Pebbles, Reese Puff Bats, and Cap'n Crunch Halloween Crunch. It doesn't get better than that. Get out to the store and get you some awesome Halloween breakfast. Peaces!